A grueling combination of focus, technique, and strength, rock climbing requires extreme muscle control and head-to-toe fitness. From conquering overhangs to rappelling down mountains, the sport challenges both mind and body. I'm gonna see what it takes to be a badass at rock climbing. Jen, I'm so excited to be here today with you. How did you get into rock climbing? I started off in a reach camp, so coming to climbing camp was so much fun, and just being able to explore is something that you don't usually get to do as a kid. We're gonna start off with traversing. Now that's climbing sideways, so we're not gonna be climbing up yet. I'm gonna have you grab onto the wall, and let's get started. Good, left hand comes out, bend the knees. Allow that weight to be in your legs, not in your arms. I can only imagine when you get to a certain point as a rock climber that it almost becomes a bit meditative. Meditation is the new wave for in everything. You can find what we call lines or a route all the way up the wall and allow yourself to kind of just sink in and move. Turn your right hip to that side wall. There you go, yep, just like that. That's great, see how well you know your body? That's amazing. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit tricky. You bring your left foot all the way out to the green hole. Nice, and then you're just gonna put your right foot against the wall. And it's growing more and more for women, right? Yes. Women actually tend to be better rock climbers in the beginning than men. Women tend to know their bodies a little bit better, so whether it's the hip angle or moving of the shoulders, they're just a little bit more in tune than the men that want to do that extra pull up and get that extra little muscle pump to show all the ladies that are doing it. I'm actually really loving this. I feel like it's already meditative event my first time. Most people either love it or hate it, to be honest. I'm obsessed. Okay, <laughs> let's rock. Of your left hand to that neon hold, and then you're gonna walk your left hand out to that yellow one. Excellent. You've completed your first traverse. Yeah. Amazing. That's excellent. That was awesome. All right, now we're gonna go up, so you need to put a harness on. You ready to get started? Yes, I am. All right, so one leg into each loop. Pull it all the way up. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, both hands on the black. Excellent. Now bring your feet up. Transfer some of your weight to your right foot. Excellent. One step at a time. There you go. How does your body move in rock climbing? Is it a full body experience? Yes, your toes are jammed up in a shoe really tight. You want to use your legs to your upper body, to your core. Okay, remember, walk those legs up. Nice, good job. You're almost to the top. Nice, you got it, excellent. This is the scary part. Really let go? You could just let go. Oh, it's all right. <laughs> Excellent, good job. Rock climbing is hard. A lot of rock climbing is mental because it's about letting go. There are definitely moments where I was scared and unsure. You have to trust yourself that you can hold yourself up and you'll be fine. 